What's up everybody? It's Aaron from Remedy. How's it going? Uh, I'm sitting down in my family room where the band has been doing all their recording and uh, yeah, I'm sitting down going through the mixing process. So uh, I wanted to make a video just to kind of show you guys what it looks like what we're doing. If you really don't care a whole lot about, you know, what goes into making a song and kind of, you know, how we do it, then this video isn't for you. You're probably gonna get really bored. I'm just gonna tell you that right now. Um, but if you really kind of wanted to get curious and figure out a little bit of what we're doing and how we do it, you know, when you when you are gonna eventually hear our songs that we're gonna release on our EP, how did we make the sounds? How do we do it? Not in a studio, but in our homes. How did we do that? You know, um, that's the challenge. Uh, we were able to save a lot of money by figuring this out ourselves and by a lot of trial and error so we're gonna walk you through this a little bit so you see what it is it looks like and how it works hope you enjoy okay so here you are uh, this is what we're using is Pro Tools 11 um, there's a lot of them out there but that's the one we like and that's what we have so uh, yeah I just kinda wanna break down what it looks like as you can see there's a lot to it but uh, just some of the details of it. We're not going to get into the like the very, very, very intricate details. But anyway, uh, I just wanted to kind of show you some things. This light blue over here is the master track, uh, kind of where we're going to do some plugins to help with the mastering. Uh, more of that will happen later on, and we'll probably kind of send that out to something else when we do the mastering. But anyway, that kind of gives us an idea of what the mastering will sound like. This right here is a big one that I wanted to show you. This is actually purple. It might look blue, but it's purple. Anyway, but it's called Easy Drummer. Um, when we're talking about like the, the trial and error stuff that I was talking about earlier, this was a big one. Um, we tried to set up our own drum kit. We tried and tried and tried to mic the drums, um, to reduce the bleeding, to get the right EQs, to get all the right compressions, and do all of it right, and make it sound as good as possible from what we could do. And it was just too difficult. I'm sorry, but it, it just was. Um, you know, a lot of these main bands go into the studio and have all of the best equipment to make that sound possible but we just don't have that and we want to be realistic and say what can we do to substitute uh, and get the best possible sound we can using different strategies so one of the things we talked about and thought of uh, was to use an electric drum kit um, so the nice thing about an electric drum kit is it gave Frank the, op the opportunity to still play you know um, and, and so he played a kit to do all of this, but it was an electric drum kit. From the electric drum kit, it plugged into the computer um, into what is a MIDI track, and from the MIDI track, we transported it into the Easy Drummer program here, this plugin. So, what it really is, is, as I'll show you a little bit, is this is all the volume levels of, and the panning involved for all the parts of the drum. So this is the kick, the snare, the hi-hat, uh, the toms, overheads, then you know there's other things as you get down to compressions and reverbs and all that that go along with it. But anyway, so you can control each and every part of your drum kit individually, which is huge. Um, something we didn't have the freedom to do when we recorded the drums ourselves with microphones, you could do here. Then you can actually even go into the drum kit itself and change the sounds as you want. So you get a snare you like, a kick, you know, some toms, and then I mean, all of this, you can, you can break down and make all the sounds you want in your drum kit. But it'll still be Frank playing, that's the thing. Frank played all the drums for this, the EPs and all the tracks, but we kind of substituted the sounds to get as close as we possibly could to what we liked and what we would ideally have wanted Frank to sound like anyway. So that's the Easy Drummer program, which made, as I said, this a lot easier. Huh, <laughs> funny. Anyway, then we're going down, let's go quick. This yellow is Mark's bass. These five red tracks here are Cody's guitar, some distortions and a clean track. The orange here is Matt's guitar parts that he did, amazing intricate stuff. The blue stuff that you see here, the blue tracks, are actually back tracks. Um, some, a lot of MIDI working, a lot of like a, a synth is in here, a piano is in here, or almost sounds like a piano or an electric piano. Um, all of these green here is kind of the next thing I want to show you that go into any detail are my vocal tracks. Actually, there's eight tracks in total. Uh, two main chorus vocals, a background harmony vocal for the chorus, um, the early part of the verse, the second part of the verse, 
and these three parts are the harm or the uh, the bridge parts a couple harmony and then a bridge uh, main vocals so there's a lot to them and as you can see a lot of plugins went into them uh, the actual the guitars we plug you know we uh, we plugged in direct to record guitars um, using some line six pods things like that to to make the sounds we wanted to without having to microphone you know mic up uh, an amplifier um, so it made it a lot easier to control the sound again to get a good full sound and use some plugins to kind of fix that where necessary um, so that made things a lot easier so it was a direct plugin but vocals were the only thing we had to actually record obviously um, with a microphone um, I used a, a Rode NT1A microphone um, amazing I love that microphone worth every single penny and then some seriously but along with that I also threw in some plugins some things to maybe give my voice a little edge like an axe some compressions and EQs uh, things like that and then down here you know we added some de-essing so when you have that s s sound in the voice it kind of reduces the S's in the voice pretty cool feature but one thing I want to show you is this called waves tune um, people might call it cheating but I guarantee you won't find a a song out there on the radio today that doesn't have some component of you know tuning of vocals um, what I wanted to do with this program is not make my voice change I wanted my voice to be as natural and as real as possible so when I recorded my vocals for each take I tried to hit the notes as clean and as strong as I possibly could so I wouldn't need a whole lot of this editing and as it is uh, it's not turned out very high at all. This is very light tuning of the vocals. So on, honestly, what it really does is if you could see a track like this, where you might see a lot of the waves going through a vocal, if my, my vocal by chance was not entirely strong on a note, it'll kind of smooth it off and give it that little finishing to make it sound a little stronger, a little tighter. So it's just called wave tunes. You can change it as necessary, you know, um, and you know switch things up a little bit I don't do a lot of that I let it stay pretty natural as you can probably tell there's not a, like a one note here there it varies a lot so that's what I really like about this program it gives me a, a lot of options to make it sound as computerized as possible or as natural as possible which I like so that's pretty much what the, the mixing station of Pro Tools looks like for our songs a lot of muted stuff at the end. These are like click tracks and uh, uh, pre-recorded tracks that I did on my computer uh, at home and then sent to these guys and we used it as a reference track. So that's, but they're all muted as you can see here, muted. Anyway, but this is what they kind of looks like here. And a little bit I'm gonna have you listen to a sample of what our song sounds like. It'll be pretty sweet. Uh, hope you're liking it so far. And I'm really sorry if you're getting bored. Maybe, you know, find something else. Uh, you know, we got all our other stuff to look at, but hey, hope you like this so far. The other part of uh, Pro Tools that they offer for us is also kind of the editing part where you actually look at the track itself and you see the waves of the track uh, and, and kind of have this, you know, layout of what you can see the tracks look like. Um, one thing I really like to do is to cut out the parts where, you know, parts of the, like this is guitar tracks. And at the beginning they're not on so I cut out those guitar parts where there's maybe a dead sound or no noise that is needed just to reduce the uh, possible you know feedback noise that's not supposed to be there um, so that there's not much to this to see I mean when you look at a, a traditional editing software this is pretty typical of what you'll see but again here's the same things like this is the easy drummer that we showed you before here's Mark's bass what it looks like on editing this is what it looks like. So when he hits a note and he lets it ring, that's what it looks like. That's his, the waves that he's making. Uh, and then, you know, the five guitar parts for Cody that we talked about that were red. Here they are here. He doesn't start at the beginning uh, except for his clean part, but then these are all his distorted parts. Um, then you're getting into what Matt does at the beginning also. Uh, and then getting, okay, where am I? Where's my mouse? There I am. And then getting into, you know, the MIDI tracks and some of the stuff like the piano and the synths that we were talking about and then you're getting into my vocals down here the green like we showed before there's my early verse the early part of the verse the second part of the verse and then you get into the chorus and stuff like that so anyway this is what they look like um, I'm not entirely done as you could tell some things I still need to uh, cut out like you know I'll cut out some parts here and there so anyway cool stuff. Oh, I actually moved that. That was not what I meant to do. I'll move that back. 
Anyway, a breakdown of what the editing part of Pro Tools 11 looks like um, and kind of how we can get into this part and make it you know, very unique as to what we want and have a lot of control in that capacity as well. So, cool, huh? I really thank you guys for watching the video and just to kind of see what we're doing. Um, just to give you a little information on the song itself. This song is going to be in our first EP. Uh, we determined that we're going to call our first EP From Darkness. Um, and this song, we're also deciding we're going to release as a single before we release the EP to give you a good sample of what, you know, the sound of Remedy is, get you excited for the EP. This song is called Divide. I hope you guys really like it and enjoy it. Again, it's not a finalized product by any means. There's a lot more mixing and then a mastering component that will go into this to make sure all the sound levels and balancing are correct. But it, it's, a, it's at a good spot right now. So I hope you like it, guys. Thanks for watching. Before you guys, hope you like it. Peace out.